Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial. So in today's video, I want to show you how you can create this beautiful landing page with MailChimp. As you can see, everything is on one page. It's very colorful and eye-catchy and it's very easy to create as well. So let's get started. This is my MailChimp account. The first step is to click on campaigns up here in the menu area. Now, before we get started, what is a landing page? A landing page is nothing more than a place where people can do something to say, I'm interested in your stuff. So say, for example, you're offering a free webinar or a free PDF download. You're offering something valuable and in return, you get people's email address. So what you need to do is once you have clicked on campaigns up here, you want to click on create campaign on the upper right hand corner. And then you want to scroll down and click here where it says create landing page. Okay, so this is the name of my landing page. And here where the arrow is pointing down, you need to select a list where you want to collect all of the email addresses. So in my case, I have created only one list. So I'm going to select Natura Vita. And now we need to select begin. So you can see here the example that MailChimp shows you, and we're going to create something that is a little bit similar to this. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to click on this part here where it says design. So click on that, and we're going to change the image at the back, so the background image. So in order to do that, we want to edit the background page here. Okay, so click on page, and now you can add a background image if you want, or you can simply change the gray color that is here. So if you want to change the color, all you need to do is click here in the middle of the box and say you want to make it blue, you can move the cursor up here to blue, choose the blue color that you like and it will change automatically. So this is one way to do that. So I want to add a background image, so I'm going to click on add an image instead. And to add your image, you need to click on Upload. As you can see, I have already created an image. And I'm going to upload this one here. Open. Just to let you know, I have used the website pigmonkey.com to create the image. So if you want to create collages or if you want to add text to your images, then I recommend this site here, pickmonkey.com. This is one of my favorites because it's cheap and it has many options, but there's also Canvas, there's Pixlr, there's Paint, there's so many other options as well. And then once I'm happy, I can export this image to my computer and save it like that. Okay, so if I go back to the landing page here, you can see the background image is now nicely fitted in. I like to use the size 1280 by 720 because it will fit perfectly in one page. You don't want the image to be too long where people need to scroll down and down and down. Remember, time is money. The less they have to do, the better. Okay, so that's the first thing. Next, we want to add our logo. So if you have a logo, you can add that here. If you don't, you can delete this section. So I'm going to add my logo by clicking on the pencil looking icon here. Also, if you click in the middle, that's another way to edit this section. So let's click in the middle. And then here where it says replace, I'm going to click that. And you can see I have already added my logo here, but if I want to upload my logo again, all I need to do is click on upload and then search for my logo on my computer. The size of my logo is 300 by 72. And for me, that's just the right size. You can have it a little bit smaller as well if you want. So I'm going to cancel because I already have it here. So I'm going to select and then I will insert. And here it is. Okay, so the next step is to add an enticing headline. To do that, again, you can click on the pencil looking icon or click in the middle here somewhere. And then I'm going to delete what's here. So by simply highlighting and pressing delete on my keyboard. And I'm going to say here, 
get 15 free healthy vegan recipes. Now, as you can see, the font is different from the original font. I need to highlight the text. And then here where it says font originally, just click on the arrow pointing down and then you can choose whatever font you like. So the font that I have got here is dancing script. So when you've chosen the font that you like, you can save and close. Make sure that your message is short to the point. It has all of your keywords in there. Okay, next step is to add a bit of text here. I don't really want to put too much here, so I'm going to click on the pencil looking icon and just add about a sentence. Get raw, honest wisdom and 15 free recipes. So what I want to do is I want to center this text, so I'm going to highlight it. Then I'm going to click here on this icon where it says center. And as you can see, it is centered. Also, I want to change the size to 19 just to make it a little bit bigger and then save. Okay, now the next step is to edit this email address field. Okay, so in order to do that, again, you can click on the pencil looking icon or somewhere here in this box. You can choose to add first name if you want to collect their first name. You can also ask people to add their last name or address or phone number, which I don't recommend because you want to keep it as simple as possible. And also, if you scroll down here, you can change what the text says. I'm going to change that to get access. Also for the style, through research, when the background color here is a punchy orange or yellow, people are much more likely to hit that button. So I'm going to change the background color. Okay. You can also just select the colors down here if you want. Okay, so that's looking good. The next step is to edit our confirmation text. So I've edited it to say thanks, we'll send your gift through straight away once you confirm your email address. So this is the message that they will get once they put in their email address here and click on get access. If you want to preview your landing page, all you need to do is go up here to the preview button. So click on preview on the right hand corner here. So you can see how it looks on your desktop or on a mobile device as well. Okay, yep, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so once you're happy with your design, all you need to do is go down here to save and continue. Now, two more things. You need to add a title page. So click here where it says add page title and just going to keep it short and simple. Okay. We want to add our URL here. As you can see, MailChimp will appear first. Then there is a general random code that will appear afterwards. And then your bit at the end. So we're going to call it and save. So that will be your URL so that people can access your landing page. And that's it. And now I'm going to hit publish. Oh yeah, baby, hi-fi. There you go, and you've set up your landing page. Now if I click on the link to access my landing page, here it is, very easily accessible. Now you can add your link to your social media platforms like Facebook, uh, Twitter, you can put it on your YouTube channel. If you've got one, you can put it on Instagram. Um, just add the link there so that people can then access your landing page and then sign up to your email list that way. So if you want to edit your landing page at any time, what you need to do or the way that you can access it is by going to campaigns up here on the top left hand corner, click on it. So you can see once you hover over this section, you can see an arrow pointing down, click on the arrow and then click on edit. So this is how you can access your landing page at any time. Also, if you want to know where you can get free images or images that are about $1, but very high quality, I recommend this website here. It's called Deposit Photos. I do recommend Deposit Photos if you need cheap, high quality photos um, that are copyright free.
let's just go through the process of how you can now attach your free giveaway to this landing page. Because I know some people just don't know how to do that. So let's just quickly do that as well. So if I go to my list, so click on list up here where it says list. And as you can see, I have attached my landing page to this list here. I have one subscriber, which is myself. So I'm just going to, what I need to do is click on sign up forms and form builder. It's here where it says forms and response email, you want to click in this part here in the gray box. You want to click here where it says final welcome email. Click on that and then make sure that this is ticked. Here where it says send a final welcome email, click on that and then scroll down. Now if you want to attach a free PDF file or a video link or anything like that, then you need to click here on edit. All right, so I've changed the text to say thank you for subscribing to our list. Click here to get your free recipes. Now, if you want to attach your free giveaway, you need to select the word or sentence that you want to attach it to, and then click here where it says link. So click on the arrow pointing down, and then where it says file, click on that. It can also be a link to an outside source if you want to do that. So I'm going to upload my free PDF giveaway. Okay, so that has been linked and now I want to click on insert. There you go. So once people have put in their email address in the landing page, they will get this final welcome email. Once they have confirmed their email preferences and things like that, they will get this final welcome email with your free gift. So let's just make sure that's working. So if I right click and open in a new tab, let's see. And here it is. So they will get this recipe book. By the way, if you want to get this recipe book and sign up to my mailing list, feel free to do that down below in the description box. So this is how you can create a beautiful landing page with MailChimp and also how you can link your free gift to your sign up form. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. If you haven't already subscribed, 